Well, hello all my Baker friends and welcome back. Um, I have switched up locations, so I'm outside now, so you may hear the chimes or the wind blowing, but it's a beautiful day today, so I wanted to get outside. So, we are, of course, me, and baking along in the Great British Baking Show Kitchen Classics Cookbook, which is based on the most recent season of the Great British Baking Show. And I'm baking my way through every recipe, and today I went back into the biscuit section because, you know, I feel like it's safer back there because some of these recipes I know are going to be really, really hard. So I'm trying to, uh, to, to do the ones that I think might be easiest first. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Uh, so today I went and found uh, a baker's recipe. And this particular recipe is from Amos, one of the contestants this past season. Um, you may remember him from early on in the season. And he has a recipe in here for white chocolate pistachio and cranberry shortbreads. What is not to love about the list of those ingredients, right? So this is what they look like uh, in the book. And um, I have to say they were very, very good. So watch along the little video that I'm gonna show you as I made them, and then we'll talk about uh, some things that I didn't do well or um, could do better, in other words. So here is the picture of the finished product from the cookbook. And I have laid out all of my ingredients. You'll see those yummy pistachios that we're gonna chop up in just a second. We got some cranberries there. So we've got it all laid out. I'm gonna start chopping the pistachios for the cookie itself. So make sure you chop those up. I've chopped some more that are really fine to sprinkle on top of the cookie once it's done. And so I'm just gonna mix up the cookie batter, wet and dry ingredients, adding flour, of course, and then adding my yummy tastiness going in with the nuts and all of the yummy uh, craisins, dried cranberries. And like I said, these would make a lovely holiday cookie, so I'm gonna definitely use these at Christmas time. So here's my dough. Um, I'm going to lay a piece of parchment paper on top of it while I roll it out. And uh, it's kind of a crunchy cookie uh, dough because of the nuts in there, but it's kind of a big splodge looks like, so it doesn't have to be pretty. So I've got about a two inch, I guess, cookie cutter that I'm cooking, uh, I mean, sorry, cutting the uh, cookies out. And um, I think I could have made them a little thicker than what I cut out. I think they baked better if they were, but once you have them out, you want to dock them with a fork just poke a, full, a few holes into the cookie. Be careful you don't tear the cookie when you do that. And so I have baked some and some of them turned out, I think, really, really great. Some of them, I think, overcooked. And you can see the ones that are a little browner there. They still tasted good, but um, they weren't as pretty and um, they just tasted a little overdone for me. So those in the middle there are the right color consistency for these cookies. So I've melted some white chocolate. We're gonna dip half of the cookie in that and just kind of shake off the excess there and just have some parchment paper or wax paper to put them on you're just going to sprinkle them with your uh, finely chopped pistachios and take care of all of your cookies that same way and you're going to have some yummy yummy cookies to eat uh, when they're all said and done and that white chocolate has uh, dried on there so again their photo and here's my photo of my cookies so I hope that you will make these so what did you think they look pretty yummy don't they mm -hmm. yes I will be making these cookies again I think they would make a wonderful holiday cookie uh, for sure the people that I gave them to raved about them and loved them so I have very few notes about this recipe um, for my particular oven and again, it's always a good idea to check the temperature of your oven. I found mine baked in less time than what was given in the recipe itself. I also want to remind you to really finely chop your pistachios for the cookie batter. You don't want it to two uh, big pieces in there. You want them a little finer. And um, for me, I thought I needed a little more salt for my taste buds. It was just very sweet, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I felt like it just needed that hint, a little bit more of salt to lift that flavor. So uh, when I make them again, I may add just a smidge more salt or I may, instead of unsalted pistachios, use salted pistachios. That could work. 
so I may try that. Um, and maybe make them just a little thicker than I did. Um, I found that the, that the thicker the cookie was, the, the better they held their shape and, and baked better. I, I also took more white chocolate for dipping than was called for in the recipe. Maybe just because I like to put a lot of white chocolate on there. But anyway, that, that's just my takes on that. So get this cookbook and make your white chocolate pistachio cranberry shortbreads. You're going to love them.